Trench and excavation comes with its own unique set of hazards, none more common nor more dangerous than cavens. And as with any hazard, we always look for ways to eliminate it to protect those exposed. So how can we eliminate cavens? Sloping and benching. Hi, I'm Sergio with ANA Safety, and in this video, we'll be going over each benching system for each type of soil. Rather than excavating a flat trench face, benching leaves steps on the side of the excavation. This can either be found as a single bench at the bottom of the trench or a multiple bench system. Let's start with a simple bench for type A soil and a trench depth of less than 20 feet. The steepest maximum allowable slope is 52 degrees from the horizontal or 0.75 horizontal to one vertical, showing on the screen now. The cutback distance from that bench will be 0.75 times the height of the bench. Notice the maximum height of the first bench or in this case, the only bench is four feet. And the same rule of adding 0.5 to the horizontal when finding signs of distress in the soil or the trench area still applies. So if your first bench is four feet high, instead of multiplying the height by 0.75, we would multiply it by 1.25 after adding that additional 0.5 to the horizontal. For multiple bench systems in Taipei soil with a trench depth of less than 20 feet, the steepest maximum allowable slope is still 52 degrees from the horizontal or 0.75 horizontal to one vertical. Same rule applies for the first bench as it can only have a maximum height of four feet. However, the benches after that first one may be as high as five feet. Regardless, the cutback distance for each bench shall be 0.75 times the height of the bench. For simple bench systems in type B soil and trench depth of less than 20 feet, the steepest maximum allowable slope is 45 degrees from the horizontal or one vertical to one horizontal incline. Same rules apply for the max height of the bench as type A. However, the cutback distance will be one times the height of the bench. For multiple bench systems in type B soil and trench depth of less than 20 feet, the steepest maximum allowable slope is 45 degrees from the horizontal or one horizontal to one vertical incline. Unlike type A benching systems where the benches after the first one may be up to five feet high, all benches in type B system have a maximum height of four feet. And the same cutback distance of one times the height of the bench applies for all benches. Now for benching systems in type C soil, well, there is no benching system for type C soil because it isn't allowed. I hope you remember that from our previous video. And if you didn't, I'm sure you will now. What we just covered is simple and multiple benching systems for type A and type B soils. Because I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information, we would just be covering those. However, there are systems where both benching and sloping are combined, and there are sloping requirements for trenches with layer systems. Now these can be pretty complicated, so if you would like for me to explain those in a future video, let me know in the comments below. If you're tired of me or just plain hate the way that I explain things in this video, you can always find this information in Appendix B as well. And there you have it, sloping and benching systems for each type of soil. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of what sloping and benching systems are, how they differ from one another, and how they can protect our workforce from cave-ins by essentially eliminating the hazard altogether when done correctly. If you have any questions or need assistance with your safety program, feel free to contact us using the information provided below. And we would also love to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you work with trenching and excavations? Do you prefer to slope or bench your trenches? And lastly, follow us on all social media platforms to stay updated with our latest safety tips and tricks. And as always, until next time, be safe and thank you.